Hi friends. Welcome to 30 inks, 30 days, day 24. Um, it's funny. I've been meaning to showcase more drinks this month than I have been doing, have done to this point. And the reason that's funny is I did have a drink earlier, but it's gone now. And I think it wouldn't have been like in matching with the theme of today's ink, so it's okay. Anyway, here's a look at Gummy Berry from yesterday. Beautiful. What's interesting is I think of it as a fairly purpley ink, but it really is <laughs> lilac. <laughs> this may be as purple as Aurora's purple. It's somehow, to me, it's like the line between magenta and purple. It is pretty, though. And we'll get a quick look at last week. A couple of themes. It's so black. Oh, that feels funny. Do they all feel funny? No, this one feels funny. Interesting. Anyway, turning the page. Okay, we're over here now. We're over here, we're moving on. And this week's theme is gonna be super obvious. We're starting off with Diamond's Red Dragon. I got this because at some point I was like, well, obviously I need a red ink. And this was the one I liked. Admittedly, I only tried a couple, but I stand by this one. It's a really good red. Um, you know, it's like red, but not like you could have got a better score on this test, Maria red, you know? Uh, not that to be specific. Anyway. I'm going to just hang it out mm -hmm. open bottle right here after having had a rum drink. Great idea, right? Anyway, today, I keep saying anyway. We're going to use my Monte Grappa. This is uh, the Ultra Black. Monte Grappa Zero in Ultra Black. And got a medium nib. I love their nib design. Oh, look, you can see a scar. Um, I won't tell you what it, hey, look, it's loose. Is the nib loose or just a section? Just a section. Thanks for helping me work through that. Oh, you know what's nice? That, that part right there is really nice looking. So today, has been a day. It's fine. I got, uh, my tiki book would have me own at least five to seven different types of rum. My partner is already like, he's supportive, but you know, he basically just drinks whiskey neat if he's going to drink anything. It's just not my, I mean, I used to drink scotch neat, but anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. So by his account, I have quite a lot of alcohol already. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to bring in a billion containers. and. But they had my favorite spiced rum at this store so I got some I love it so much anyway I said it again I keep saying it this is diamine red dragon I was gonna try and find a like red drink or a dragon drink and then here I didn't but tomorrow Oh, that's funny. I've picked the ink. I will have to make a drink with it. That's a rule. I'll look into it. Ooh, I just had a good idea. 
considering. Um, Monte Grappa Zero Ultra Black. Holy cow. This looks so juicy right now, but that's just because I just filled it. This is such a dry writer. I actually was thinking what I should put in this is like writer's blood, something obscenely lubricated. Maybe Red Dragon will do okay. Anyway, oh, it's beautiful. I kind of want to get a sample of Romania Red to compare it because, but why? I don't need to want a different red. Wow, look at me. Okay, anyway. 30 inks. 30 days, June 2024, day 24, I like that, ink. Um, I always wanted a Monte, always, yeah. Wanted a Monte Grappa primarily for their um, nib design. It's beautiful. And I'm tempted by some of their pins, but they ones, I mean, they're known, right, for their incredibly over the top art pins. The one that they did for Frankenstein is so cool. Um, not something I would buy, but something that I appreciate that it exists, if that makes sense. I'm going to write M over here. I'm going to write M over here. Um, but I felt like this was a safe choice for me because, I mean, it's ultra black. Look at it. I if the whole pen was this trim, ooh, how beautiful would that be? Okay, we're gonna um, put up this the splash zone so that we can splat. Red dragon, so this is supposed to look like a dragon. Okay. It's not super dragony, but I'm trying, okay? I'm gonna be honest, this is kind of more red caterpillar than anything else. Also, it's worth noting I was going for more of a Japanese or Chinese, an Eastern, if you are imperialist, dragon. Yeah. That was me cleaning the syringe a little. This does not look like a red dragon. That's okay. Still pretty. Still a splat. Still not dry, but we have to make the card, right? Correct. So far, I dig this. I hope it lasts. I'm really behind on all my transcription stuff. Incredibly behind. So what I might do after this is try and catch up while watching some mindless TV, like yet another rewatch of Midsummer Murders which I'm pretty sure I mentioned yesterday. I did, did I finish them in Cinema Rhapsody? I must have. 
right? I do not so far enjoy the way the color is looking on here. It's kind of looking a bit rusty or brick-like. What color is brick? What color is brick anyway? Brick isn't a color. Bricks are a thing and they come in lots of colors. Oh, look, you're almost getting, um, you see it's some halo-y sheen there. Lovely. Now I'm picturing the Master Chief with some kind of sheen. You know, Halo-y sheen. I love Halo. Um, fact. So we're in the last week of the month and can you believe it? I am looking forward to some time away from 30 inks, but I do have a rough thought in mind for a possible theme for September. Brought to us by, well, I'm not sure what name they would like to be known as, but a commenter here, and a Discord pin friend hooligan. I mean that in a nice way. I was the other day looking through these and like thinking about what my favorites are. And what's interesting is looking at this page, I think I would have different favorites than looking at these cards. So I think it's worth talking about that at the end of the month if I remember. And I'm sure that has to do with white paper versus um, cream paper. Spoiler, I like white paper more. <laughs> um, it just allows more of the color to show through. At any rate, I hope that whenever you're watching this, you are having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.